Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? Perplex84, back at it again, representing Cerebral Cortex Reviews. I want to clarify my last video, because I've been thinking about something these past couple of days since that last video. One of my last videos, well, my last video in particular, I was talking about how I think the console industry is dying. The game industry, as far as software, is expanding. Uh, it's growing to astronomical heights. It's going out of this world. Like, the game industry never been this good. I mean, you got all kind of cool games coming from all three of the big companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. And you got Android and uh, Apple. They're throwing games out. You got NVIDIA throwing games. I mean, you got everybody throwing games out these days. And it's a beautiful thing for software. Not so much for hardware. Because now software is being downloadable and playable on your PCs now and stuff like that. So that was the meat of what I was saying last time on my last video. The PCs are pretty much taking over because they're allowing you to play games that's normally able to be played only on consoles. Now they're being able to be played on PCs. The reason why I say this is because the PlayStation Now service, PlayStation games, it's PlayStation 3 games, you're now able to be played, be playing on the PC. You know, and that's that's really crazy, man. I mean, I never thought I would see the day, you know, because it's not a Sony Vio PC. I could see if it was on a Sony Vio PC, that would make much more sense. But just on any Windows-based PC, you can play, you could download that software, PlayStation Now, and play all the PS3 games you want. Now, I was thinking, that's what, you know, you know, back to what I was saying, I was thinking that, you know, that's what's going to kill the consoles. But I was thinking about something. Consoles can play it smart because I know a lot of us are wondering like, hey, what about all those first party titles that, that are those exclusives that belongs to that company? The God of War, the Uncharted, on the Sony, they're never going to get with that. You got Nintendo with the, the Donkey Kong, the Pokemon, the Mario, the, you know, the Zelda, etc. You got Microsoft with the Halo and all that stuff. Are they going to really spread those out and put them on the PC and, and lose the... The sales they could have with those, you know, that's coming in home with the with the company. I don't think they are. I think, and this is going to be crazy, but follow what I'm saying with this. I think Nintendo is going to start making PCs. Similar to what Apple is doing with the MacBook. Similar to what Apple is doing with the iPads. I think Nintendo is going to start making tablets, cell phones, and personal computers. They are, they know what they're doing. They've been making computers now for 35 years or longer. If anybody knows how to make a personal computer, it's Nintendo. So they have all the hardware, all the software capabilities, and the technology, and the components to have a successful development department to make PCs, Nintendo, because they're greedy. They spent a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of years on that Mario series, on that Donkey Kong series, on that Zelda series, on that Pokemon series, on that F-Zero series. They're not going to sit up and just throw that all away and start having, you know, all of their games start coming on on Windows PC, which belongs to Microsoft, and having it coming on Apple, you know, PCs. They're not going to have it. They're not gonna, it's not going to go down. I don't see Nintendo doing that. They got too much money invested into those, those lines. So I think they're going to start making PCs. So in order to play uh, the Mario and all this stuff, yeah, Nintendo consoles are dead, but their PCs are emerging. So buy a Nintendo PC. I can see it. I can see it, man. 10, 12 years from now, I can see it. Also... Sony and Microsoft already got a leg up in the race. They already got a head, start, a head start in the race because Microsoft is already turning their consoles into fully Windows 10 PCs. And they're already starting by having their uh, software ported over to the PCs already. A lot of their Xbox games are already on the PC. So Microsoft is already starting to do that. And they already have Microsoft PCs. In fact, most of the PCs now are Microsoft based because they're ran by Windows. Sony also has a leg up on the race because they make the Sony Vio computer. They killed that line. That line is, yeah, I believe that line is dead now. Last time I heard, 
I think they're going to revitalize that line in the next few years. It's going to be refreshed and revamped. Where to if you want to play a PlayStation or a Sony based piece of software, a God of War, an Uncharted, a Last of Us, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you're going to have to buy our Sony PC. They're going to find a way to make it where to where if you want to play those cool first party games, they're not going to just send it to Steam. They're not just going to just send it to a Windows. They want their money to come with them. So they're going to say, make buy a Sony Vio PC. Follow what I'm saying, y'all. <laughs> just think about what I'm saying. They're not gonna just let those first party that first party money just go to waste or go all to Microsoft. I mean, what are you what are you doing? You're just saying Microsoft is the ultimate god that we're gonna just send our games over to your operating system. Yeah, the third party companies are gonna do that. I mean, you have no really no control over it unless you buy the third party company out. You know, but first party, you definitely have say so over that. And Nintendo and Sony isn't going to just let the first parties go away. Tell me what you guys think. You think Sony and Nintendo is going to get into the PC market? Start making their own PCs and mobile devices? Tell me if you think it's pie in the sky. Tell me if they're perplexed. You're an idiot, man. I can't believe you said that. They don't have the capability. To... I want to hear that, too. Perplex 84. Cerebral Cortex Reviews. I've been thinking about this for two days. Tell me, I can't wait to hear you guys' opinions, man. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I'm still be around. I love you guys, man. Peace out.